This is the IBM Palmtop PC110, the world's smallest fully functional 486 sub notebook of 1995, even predating the famous Toshiba Libretto. I know that LGR made a video about this one already, so fear not, I'm not doing a simple rip off here. But LGR made some fun about the built in telephone function. So my question is, can I still use this IBM Palmtop PC 110 on the present day to place a real phone call? Retrocomputing is the use of older computer hardware and software in modern times. I'm the Vintage Collector and these are my stories. The IBM Palmtop PC was released to the Japanese market in September 1995, so a whole 8 months before the Toshiba Libretto 20 was released, as my collection, with some notable exceptions, revolves about mobile computing, I simply had to have the IBM Palmtop PC 110. This particular machine was coming off the hands of a former IBM pre-sales engineer who had used this machine more for fun than the thrill of its tiny size than for actual work. And I can totally understand this. I would have loved to own this in the mid 90s as well. And did I mention it already? Besides DOS and Windows, even Windows 95, it also runs Doom. Ok ok, let's focus on the key topic, namely how to use the PC-110 as a telephone. For this we need the Palmtop PC-110 of course, a POTS 2 voice over IP adapter, a 2 wire telephone cable with RJ11 jacks and some software. Though, when turning the machine on, I would first get to see this. So again, a rundown CMOS battery. I had it replaced already before, but obviously it didn't last for good and all configuration data was lost again. Let's fix that first. On the back side, there is this small latch. Slide it out to access the CR2016 cell and replace it by new one. With the new cell in place, I'm wiring up everything again. And in case you're wondering why I'm hooking up an external keyboard, it's only because it's so much more comfortable to use this than to type on the tiny little keys of the built-in keyboard. To connect the modem, there is this lid on the back side, behind which sits an RJ11 plug. I'll then hook it up to the POTS to voice over IP adapter, before finally setting the date and time to the correct values upon the next reboot. Originally, the IBM Palmtop PC came with a built-in PIM package called PersonaWare. As the Palmtop PC was released only to the Japanese market, this software was only available in Japanese. Eventually, it got translated to English by Seamus Waldron. Long gone was his website, but I was able to download it via the Internet Archive. Then I had to transfer it over via lap link. Though I was not at all successful in getting that historic piece of software to work. Neither would the standard Japanese installation work, nor the patched up English version. Either of them would always result in lockups or strange out of memory errors. So I ended up looking around for alternative software and came across Cheyenne Bitware, a Fox client for Windows, which also provides phone dialing support via the Bitphone program. And see, it actually dials out and rings on my second telephone here. I would actually not pick up the phone call since this would result in acoustic feedback. Instead, I will divert the call to the voicemail so I can get a recording. Ok, so you get the point, using the Palmtop PC110 as a phone is rather impractical. One should definitely use a headset. Let's listen quickly to the actual voice recording. Hello there, I'm calling in from the Palmtop PC110. This is a test. Oh well, if it weren't for that background humming noise, but it works. So let's see if we can achieve the same in DOS. I use Dialog 2.13, a CLI driven phone dialer for DOS for my test. Hello? Oh, I'm talking to the IBM 
and yes, after all, it seems to be working as well. Interestingly enough, the humming seems only to affect the outbound direction, so anything picked up by the IBM's built-in microphone. A headset would help here, though that's not straightforward. A standard 3.5mm plug would not work, as the palm top PC features only 2.5mm jacks. I did have an adapter actually, though not the correct one, which could be used to pass both audio in and audio out lines. So it didn't really work, as I couldn't use the microphone of the headset as a result. Though anyway, if it works for placing outbound calls, would I get it to work also for the inbound calls then? Just make sure that this switch on the left hand side is in the correct position, otherwise you won't hear the ringing signal. And this is how it sounds then. To accept the call from the Palm Top PC 110, you have to push the microphone cover sideways. Also, it will work if the machine is powered off and with the lid even closed. You can even get the line free dial tone by flipping the microphone push button. Though, as there is no button pad and also no software running, there's no way to dial out in this situation. And this concludes my look at the IBM Palm Top PC 110 and how to use that as a telephone handset. I had dealt with Fox servers over 20 years ago in my first ISP engagement, so I had at least some rough idea what to do here. It couldn't be that hard to just use the built-in modem for dialing out. After all hassles, I sort of got it working, though what really annoyed me was the strong humming noise. And since I didn't have a matching wired headset adapter either, I couldn't really see if that would have worked any better. At least we have seen that we can place calls from both DOS and Windows and also receive calls. And while you can't initiate phone calls if the PC110 is turned off, you can actually receive incoming calls in such a scenario. Boy, this was so cool to investigate and I'd love to try it again as soon as I have the correct headphone jack adapter. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please give me a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time. You're about to see some potential upcoming topics for future videos right now. Please let me know in the comments which topics you are particularly interested in. Of course, you can also drop me in some other topics you'd like me to chase down.